How you doing? Hello, is this Dazzle? Yeah, it's Dazzle. Yes, how you doing? I want to know if I can book a reading or if you're available for a reading. Yes, always. What's on your mind? Okay, so I think my baby father's sleeping with the girl next door. What? And yes, because she always looking at me funny. She never really speak. But every time I'm with him, it's like she speak and be giggly and like, Doing this like a side eye thing. I think it's like a woman's intuition thing. He say I'm tripping, but I know I'm not. He don't do nothing for me, nothing for my kids. And the other day, I found like a Gucci receipt in his um, arm breath. And just coincidentally, she had like some. All right, we gonna figure. Uh, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? All right, look. Hello, 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 everybody. It's your girl, Dazzle That Tarot, and I'm back for another tarot reading in the middle of the night, okay? <laughs> so please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of when I upload and when I go live. And if you, you would just so happen to like to book a private reading, just go into the description box. Everything is down there. Everything I say here is all alleged and for insane purposes only, okay? I don't know shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm just the regular everyday person in her pajamas at night. That's just reading tarot. <laughs> but look, let's get into it. So we're talking about how Nicki Minaj went on Beyonce's internet that they're trying to overthrow right now. <laughs> because she felt like you know, because P. Diddy got locked up. It's, it's Jay-Z's time to get locked up. And now it's her time to speak about her disdain for for certain people. Right? Or whatever the case may be. So, this was a classic moment. I'm a Game of Thrones head. I enjoy Game of Thrones very deeply. You know, the first, you know, series, right? I watched it from the very beginning my certain parts of years of my life was solely focused on when game of thrones aired and <laughs> every season but it's a particular part in game of thrones a particular season when cersei lannister the queen right um queen mother at that point because her son was king and she was married, he was set to marry Marjorie Tyrell, um, which was the other son, Joffrey, the one that got poisoned and killed. Um, fiance, right? So they end up going to be married, and she did not like the Tyrells, but she couldn't do anything about it. So what she did was she concocted a plan to allow the faith militant into the capital. Now, mind you, the faith militant is a extreme, a religious extremist group, right? And so her plan was working. You know, they had locked up Marjorie Tyrell and they locked up, you know, her brother, and mind you, they locked them up based on what moral indecency, you know, whatever the case may be. Nothing that they really did, but just their indecency. Her brother is gay, so they locked them up for being gay. You know, things like what we see now. You know, what we're what we're basically. Um, demonizing people for you know some of it other people they feel like certain people are pedophiles which is one thing you know certain people are abusers which is another thing but it's a heavy line you know down there that's really about what is you crying for that's 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 lex he wanted to be out his little cage but he's on punishment because he thought that he was going to jump on my couch like he was in the Avengers fighting Thanos. And I'm like, what are you doing? See, he's crying. 
So I'm going to let him out, though, because, you know, I'm a punk. You know, I don't never discipline, right? <laughs> no, no. Nah, you're not going to keep, but you're not going to act a fool, though. So, anywho, look, y'all like how I just twirled back in the chair? But look, let me tell you. So, but yeah, that's what, in a nutshell, that's what people be doing, right? So, she let them in, and they, they get to arresting people based on how they act, how they are. Nothing that they really did that really caused the people, you know, heartbreak or something like that, you know, or some type of difficulty. But the thing is that Cersei didn't foresee is that while she's getting people locked up for those type of things, the whole time she does the same thing. You know, Cersei Lannister is sleeping with her brother, who she had two kids by, who she lied and said the kids were by the king, King Robert Baratheon, but they're really by her brother. No, three kids. Let me get it right. Two boys and a girl. Yeah, so they're really by, they're really by Jamie Lannister. But anyway, as soon as she thought that... She was one up on somebody. They clocked her tea and made her walk the walk of shame naked down King's Landing. So I'm saying all this to say that Nicki Minaj is talking about these big heavyweight hitters in the rap community. Jay-Z and P. Diddy and, you know, gawking at the fall of P. Diddy and hoping that Jay-Z has the same fate. But Nicki Minaj, your plate is not clean. Your hands are not clean. Your hands are dirty. You know, look of who, who look, look what you do. You know what I'm saying? She's going to wind up being Cersei Lannister. She's going to have to walk the walk of shame as well. You know, so I want to know, does Nicki Minaj, if Nicki Minaj keeps doing that, and I mean, her tea is already spilled, but will someone come forward, because we're living in this age right now, that everybody who's being abused by these big celebrities, by these people in power, are coming out and speaking up and getting their justice, will there be... A mob at her door. One, two, three. You have the Eight of Swords. The Knight of Swords. The Sun in Reverse. The Six of Wands. Oh, okay. And then it's the hangman in the reverse for her. Now, this is when I tell y'all that people are not really. They pick and choose who to hang. Look at Young Thug. Young Thug has been accused of murders and all types of stuff. And people are, like, rooting for him to get out. Even though they see his delinquency and things like that, right? Um, they don't even mind the fact that he's bisexual. <laughs> but, you know, they mind it with everybody else. So, these, this is going to be a situation with her that either her fans or people don't want to believe what they hear about her. This is the hangman in the reverse. But it is a period of action, though. And then not only that, if I was to add to that, you know, I have people that don't want to believe what they hear about her because with the stuff that's already coming out that is really, like, fucked up, you have certain people that don't want to believe it, not because the evidence isn't there. They just don't want to hold her to task or hold her accountable for anything. Um, also... You have her acting like a constant victim, like it's always is Diddy. No, no, no. Jay Z is the reason for this, that, and the third in her life, and it's really not because the hangman in reverse 
acts like that. They act like everybody else is the reason, but really is you. You don't do self-reflection. You don't look at things from a different point of view. And the hangman allows you to look at things from a different point of view. She only sees it from her point of view. And from her point of view, she thinks that everybody else was out to get her. And any and if things didn't go her way, like business deals and things like that, oh, they deliberately did it to hurt her. When it could have been business is business, right? You have the Eight of Swords right here. The Eight of Swords is being trapped in your mind. This is like self-imprisonment. So... But not willing, again, it's this thing of not willing to see past what you already envisioned or how your logic is. So technically, hold on, y'all. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. But pretty much, it's the not willing to see past your own thoughts, being trapped in your own head, right? Self-imprisonment. I feel like Nikki is like that. <laughs> so Nikki's like that But that reflects into her audience too They don't want to see past what they want to see But then it's this Knight of Swords The Knight of Swords is a communication card So there will be Communication about her There will be lots of communication About things that she has Her, her husband, or whoever be doing Right? But then it's the sun in the reverse. It's supposed to, it's like the sun is a brilliant light and it's supposed to shine a light, right? But in the reverse, I give the example of imagine if it's really sunny outside and a lot of sun is coming to the into your window and a lot of light and it's just illuminating your house and you don't like it. So you close the blinds. But even though you close the blinds, you still see that trickle of light coming through. Because the sun is abundant energy no matter what. So what it really is, is that things will come through about her inequities and about her behaviors. But it's a matter of people acting blind, deaf, and dumb to it. Okay? So this is a situation where as though people know or have an idea that her stuff isn't clean either. But however, because they like her, they're willing to act like they don't see shit like Scooby-Doo. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 all that. Scrub you. Yeah, all that shit. So, so then she comes out like the six of wands. Comes out clean, right? Compared to everybody else. But... The things that she has done and the things that her husband has done, and this is not just his past. It's not just his past currently. Like, even y'all just overlooked the fact that she just got a default judgment against her because from the bodyguard, right, I believe, because she sicked her husband on this bodyguard. And cause damage to him. Things like that. So if you live in righteous, why are you doing things like that? Why is assistance and things like that having bad stories about you? Really bad stories. So these stories are there. They're out there. And if someone wants to hold her to task, they can. However... It's this aura around her, not an aura, a mindset that follows behind her that don't want to see the obvious, that want to act deaf, blind, stupid to the bullshit that, and try to protect her because they don't want her to be held to task because they like her, which is stupid. But that's, that's that same shit with Young Thug and shit. How you like Lil Wayne, but then like Young Thug? Cause then Young Thug shoot up his tour bus. Then he try to kill Lil Wayne. Like y'all, y'all okay with that? But I don't know. But I don't know y'all. But that's what I got for you guys today. That was an interesting take. I was looking at some stuff and I said, well, you know what? While I'm doing this, I might as well ask this because to me, this don't look like. 
what it's supposed to look like coming from Nikki and not. And mind you, I will let y'all know. Like, I have no issue with Nikki and I have no issue with nobody. The issues I got going on has nothing to do with celebrities. Okay, nothing to do. With, look, <laughs> the stuff I'm dealing with ain't got shit to do with celebrities. <laughs> so I have no issue with nobody. But I just find it funny and sometimes hypocritical and stuff when we go there and we hold people to task. It's like. Why is it that we only hold certain people to task and act deaf, blind, and dumb to the bullshit of others? I don't get it. But y'all let me know. Like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Hit the notification bell, and I'm gone. I'm going to sleep this time. I wanted to do Rich Homie Quam, but every time I get the energy to do it, like, something diverts me. So I don't know. Maybe I will do it tomorrow. I mean, hey. But I love y'all for real, and peace to the peace, peace, peace.